When I was told I had to do a seven hour round trip to go and pick up a bait boat, I was less than impressed. I'm not a fan of bait boats at the best of times. And then to think I've got to drive halfway across the country to get one, it wasn't really for me. But being honest, I was actually quite impressed when I did turn up. I went and met the guys from Salve. They're bringing out this new C-Series boat and it's simple to use. It's got enough tech in it, but not too much. So it's got the right amount of tech and it's nice and easy to use. So I've taken it away, brought it down to my local club lake and I'm gonna put it through its paces today. I'm gonna to show you everything you get in the box, show you how it works and hopefully put a fish on the bank. So let's jump into the video. Now I'm not gonna lie, I have had this out of the box already. I needed to charge everything up. So it's not quite as neat as it once was when I, uh, when I first picked it up. But taking everything out, the first thing you'll see is you get a nice carry bag. And this actually comes with it. So there's no extra charge for this at all, but uh, you can keep everything in here. Boat fits, controller, all your chargers and bits and pieces. So it's nice to have that in there so you don't have to keep it in a massive box like this. Opening that up though, this is your handle. So for lowering the boat into the water and picking it up and things like that, this simply screws on with four screws. So that comes with it. You've got all your charging kit. You can charge everything from this. So your two batteries will go into here and then your charger, which is USB-C, will go into here for your uh, remote. So it's nice that you don't have multiple plugs for multiple batteries. One plug, one bit of kit, and then you can charge everything from it. All right, let's get this out of the way because then we get to the good part. So underneath that bit of polystyrene, you've got the boat. So let's get the box out of the way and everything. So this is obviously the boat. Within here, you've got the controller. And I will show you this in a lot more detail, but you've got a screen built into the controller. So you don't need to worry about connecting your phone or anything like that. It's all built into here. You've then got a little kit here, which has got a few bits and pieces got your aerial so that simply screws just in here so screw that on and then in here you've got a little lanyard so you can attach that to your controller if you want to wear it around your neck uh, you've got your two little thumb screws so or not thumb screws your little operators so they simply click onto here like so so you've got your two of them, and then you've got four screws and a spare fuse. So the four screws are obviously to screw this in place, that way around, and that's it. Then it's good to go. So the nice thing about this as well is it's connected out of the box. So you haven't got to worry about faffing around, trying to put signals on from this and connect to it from the remote, or connect your remote to a fish finder, to this, to that. Everything just works. You turn both on, is connected, simple as that. Now, if you're liking what you see from this bait boat, which is understandable, then you'd be pleased to know that the guys at Sailbait are doing a Carpology special price. I'll tell you the price a little bit later and I'll tell you exactly how you can get that discounted price too. So the first thing I'm gonna do before I actually put the rods out is find myself a couple of spots. Now, being completely honest, this lake is pretty flat, pretty even all over. So I'm gonna be looking at marginal areas. To my right, there's a nice overhanging tree and then the whole far bank is really snaggy all the way along as well. So what I'm gonna do, take the boat out there because this has got GPS, it's got autopilot, it's got a fish finder as well, so you can see everything. So I might actually see some hidden bits and pieces that wouldn't have seen before or wouldn't have felt with a lead necessarily. So I'm gonna take it all the way across and save a spot. Now it's easy to save a spot and you can, you can save so many. So basically on this controller, the controller itself isn't touch screen, but you've got buttons down each side and then a few buttons on the top here. So it makes it nice and easy that each button is very clear what it's used for. And you basically got down one side, you've got the hopper release, you've got hook release, you've got your fish finder, whether you're on it full screen or half screen, you've got your different spots, and then you've got basically a go button. So once you've highlighted one of your spots, press go, and then the boat will go out to the spot. And then you've also got a return to home feature as well. So once this dropped off your bait where you want it to, you simply press the return to home and then it'll come directly back here, a bit like drones do. On the other side, you've got your power button, tick button, you've got your settings, your return to home, and then an autopilot mode. So if you are just going out to the far bank, you can literally press the autopilot and it will just go out in a straight line 
until you want to stop and then you just press it again. At the top you've got a few different options as well so you've got a mute function basically the remote will chime if it's reached its destination if it's returned to home if you don't want that to happen you simply mute it you can change the speed of the boat turn the lights on and then you've got another button for helping with navigation around the screen and then again you're adding uh, of a home point. So I'm going to get in there first and we will add the home point. So like I say it's nice and simple obviously to me that is home so all I've got to do is press the home button on the remote and then that saves it and then the home on the screen will turn green. So now I'm just going to take it out and like I said I'm going to the far bank so I might as well get it lined up and then press the autopilot button and then that will just take it directly out to the lake. On the remote it shows you the distance you're away from the home point and obviously that is increasing the further it's going away. So it's nice to keep a track on that. Now you can change a load of things actually in the remote. So you, it displays differently, whether it displays in feet or meters. You can change the color of the fish finder. So you can have a white background, a blue background, just whatever's preferable to you. I mean, it's looking, like I say, pretty level. It's four and a half foot all over. So that's why I'm using the, uh, the marginal features as opposed to finding a slightly deeper bit or something like that. So push that a little bit further, it's nice little indent along the margin there. It's quite quite overgrown apart from this little indent. So that looks quite a nice spot. So then all I've got to do to actually save that spot is make sure I'm highlighted on the one or whatever number I want to save it as, but obviously this will be rod one. And then I just double press the tick button and then that saves it as spot one. So what I can do now is use the return to home button. So if I press that, it should turn around and start coming to me. Yep, so that's that's coming towards me now and it's saying 130 foot back to home and obviously now as it's coming towards me that's decreasing and then it should pop up just in front of me. There we go, so you can hear the, the chime that it makes when it's finished its operation and there it is just in the margin. So I'm going to do the same process again. I'm going to go down my right hand side here because like I said there is a nice overhanging tree here and then I'm going to save that as spot two. So you'll notice on the controller there's two little joysticks but it's only the right one that I'm using to direct the boat and that's because the left one is used for moving around the remote and moving onto different spots and things like that so it's just um, it's just one control that you use. But that looks a, a nice little spot there so double press and tick again and then that saved it. When the boat's doing operations whether that's saving a uh, a spot or coming back to you and then returns to home or you, you I mean you can set it to do all sorts of things I'll, I'll talk about that later but you will see when you're actually watching the boat that the lights will light up when it's doing an operation so when I saved that spot the rear lights just flashed up as a green to say yes it saved it but again I can do the return to home now and then that will turn itself around and it's now saying 81 foot away and it's going to start coming back to me so Obviously this uses the most direct line, so you've got to be a little bit careful depending where you're fishing, but then you should never really be fishing not in a direct line. If you really need to move around some sort of obstacle, if you want to, I don't know, weave your line between weed beds or something like that, then you can set different points. So it will take your bait out one way, then move to another point, then move to another point. But that's the nice thing with this boat, is it's not overcomplicated if you don't want it to be and like I said at the start I don't really I don't really like boats that much if I'm honest but that's mainly because they are too complex too over the top but where you can make this as complex as you want it to be or you don't have to have it complex that's what I like about this so you can still use the autopilot modes and things like that but without going over the top and needing a degree in rocket science or something so I've now got two spots saved so what I'm going to do is get the rods use the autopilot I'll put the drone up so you can see it taking the bait right across the lake and to my right hand margin and just see how accurate it is and how well it works. Right, so the rods are out that was nice and simple to do and using that autopilot just make sure it's bang on every single time i've got them saved to the remote 
So time and time again, I can get out to them same spots. If I have a fish, if I want to put some more bait out, then I know I've literally just got to press go and it will take it exactly where I need it to go. But whilst they're out, I thought I'd run through a few of the actual kind of tech specs of this boat and of the controller. Uh, because obviously that's what you guys are watching this for. You want to know all about it. And like I said earlier, it's a very simple boat. It's got the tech that you need within it, but it doesn't have too much to confuse you. So the actual boat itself with the batteries weighs about seven kilos in total, which I don't think is that heavy. And each of the batteries, there's two batteries. You've got one either side. So they just go in these little compartments here and they're 10 amp batteries in either side. So you've got a total of 20 amps, but if you want to up that, then you can do and you can up that so you've got 20 amps either side. So you've got a total of 40 amps. Let's stick to the, to what it actually comes with for the time being. So with the two 10 amp batteries, you get roughly about two and a half hours of battery life. It's hard to say because it depends on if you've got full power, depends how much load you're taking, depends how choppy the weather is. But on average, you get about two and a half hours of continuous runtime from that. The receiver is a different beast altogether because you get about 10 hours from a single charge and it charges nice and quickly through USB-C. But this is going to be the main thing you need to you need to worry about. If you feel like you need more than two and a half hours, then that's when it's worth paying that little bit extra and going for the two 20 amp batteries because it's in theory going to give you double the runtime. Now the hopper itself can be used in a couple of different ways. It does come with a divider, so you can use it as two individual hoppers. So if you wanted your rig in one side and then your uh, the actual bait in another side than you can do. I prefer having just one main hopper and then you can literally just open both hoppers in one go. But you can set all that on the controller. So if you want it to open individually, then you can do. Or if you want it to open as a single hopper, then you can do. But actual bait capacity, it can take about three kilos of bait, which again, I think is more than enough. Now at the back of the boat, you have got two hook releases. Not everyone uses them. I generally prefer to put my hook bait actually within the, uh, the main hopper with the bait so it all just falls down but you can use both of them and they, they're obviously operated individually. So if you really wanted to, you could have two rigs attached. If you're fishing two on a tight area, you can drop one and then drop a second a few feet away, something like that. So it's nice to have that option. And then obviously that way you shouldn't have any crossed lines or anything like that if you're keeping your lines tight as a as the boat's going out. But a few other things about it, obviously you've seen that you've got lights on the front of it, you've got lights on the back. These, like I said earlier, do actually flash to that, you know, a command is finished, but they're quite handy as well, just to, to keep a track on things where the boat is. And then especially at night as well, it's even, even easier to keep a track on that. Obviously, like I say, you've got the autopilot, but it's still nice to know that everything is working how it should. It's going in the right direction. And you can do that visually by having them lights on. They're easy to turn on and off. And like I say, on the controller, you've got a button just to flick them on and off. So nice and easy and uh, nice and straightforward. Now, a couple of last things to mention with the boat. Firstly, it's going to be the turning circle. It's actually 0.5 meters. So it's a really tight turning circle. That makes it really handy if you're trying to kind of maneuver yourself into a tight little spot. But I did notice that earlier when I've done the calibration. And it's worth noting that you don't have to calibrate the boat every single session. But if you're at different venues and things like that, it's good practice to, to do a quick calibration before you actually get underway. It's going to keep things as accurate as it can be. And it's nice and easy. Again, it's all done through the controller. You literally press a button, it does its calibration, spins around a few times, and then you're good to go. Now, the last thing to mention is going to be the speed of the boat. And you can actually choose three different speeds on here. You've got a little speed button on the top here. And then on the screen, it shows three different settings, but it basically varies between 60 to 80 meters per minute. So I don't know how that corresponds to other boats, but it doesn't feel slow. It gets to the spot quick enough. I think if it was going any quicker, you'd probably end up with tangles coming off the reel or things like that. So 80 meters per minute seems about bang on. Moving over to the controller. I've already told you quite a bit about this. I've told you about all the individual buttons, what each of them do, uh, but it's worth pointing out that the screen is a five inch screen. So it's a decent size screen. You can see everything you need to see. And it's so nice not having to worry about connecting your phone and then not being able to use your phone when you're using your bait boat. It makes life so much easier. But it's really responsive as well. Like I say, you've got so many different settings in here as well. You've got three different pages of settings, so you can tweak everything as far as you want to, but you don't even have to delve into them if you don't really want to. You can just turn both things on and you're good to go. Weight-wise, it's actually pretty lightweight considering you've got the battery built into it and you've got the screen in it. It comes in at just 670 grams. So even if you are using it for a long period of time, it doesn't feel too weighty. But there's also a little uh, tripod attachment on the back as well. So if you don't want to hold it, you can get yourself a little tripod and then you can have it sat in place and then uh, 
yeah, you literally just control it just from the touch of a few buttons. Like I say, with the autopilot and everything, once it's all worked out, you've got your spots found, it, it literally is just press and go. So it makes it super simple to use. And it actually has a range between the remote and the boat itself of up to 500 meters. If you're any further than 500 meters, I'd probably choose to swim a bit further down the bank so you don't have to drive it quite as far. But that shows just how powerful the actual connection is between these two. Realistically, you're only probably gonna be going 150, 200 meters at a, at a push. So you're always gonna have a strong signal and a strong connection between the two. Now it's worth noting as well, obviously it's got the return to home feature, but if I was to turn this off and the boat was out in the middle of the lake, it's intelligent enough to pick up that, hang on, something's not right, I've lost connection and it makes its way back. So if anything happened, if you did lose connection, if you run out of battery and your boat's all the way out in the lake, you don't have to worry because as long as the boat itself has got battery, then it's gonna make its way back to you. Unfortunately, that is a blank and even the bait boat couldn't save me today. But I mentioned earlier in the video that the guys at Selve were given a discounted price for Carpology viewers and you'll find the discount code in the description of this video. So make sure you head over to the description so you can find that. But they're basically doing these at 1499. So they're knocking 200 quid off the retail price for you guys that are watching at home. So make sure if you are interested that you head over to the Selve website, find out a bit more of the tech spec but you can also use your discount code there and get these boats for a hell of a lot cheaper than the retail price. But thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.